Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is another one of those episodes where I do something very ambitious because today I'm going to be building the Hawker Stiddly VTOL Jetliner. Yes, you heard it right there, folks. I'm making a VTOL passenger aircraft. This was actually a real concept. Um, I'm not sure if it was ever built. I think it only was a concept, but it's essentially just a passenger jet with 16 turbines on the side that could make it go up into the air like a VTOL. And of course, it's Trailmakers, and this is the perfect game for a project just as that one. So let's get to it. So the first thing I want to do, guys, is actually plan out the size of this thing, start making a frame, and then we can work our way from there. Now, this here is one of the best tricks of the trade, and that is like laying out the framework for your fuselage and just the shape of the aircraft in general. There you go. That's a pretty good start to a frame. Well, as you can see, I've clearly spent some time, you know, beefing this thing up a little bit, starting to work on the actual shape of it. And yeah, this tail here took like 10 minutes, <laughs> but let's keep going. And that's another 20 minutes spent shaping the front of the cockpit. But uh, hey, at least it's done now and it looks very good. I can start getting to work on the fun things. These VTOL engine turbine things. There's actually 16 of them. So I'm thinking we can use a bunch of tiny propellers. <laughs> and I honestly think that this here that I've just designed is the best way to do this. So all of my props are inside. Let's just put a seat in here and see if this thing can uh, lift off. I doubt it will actually, it's very heavy. All right, here we go. This is huge. Can we take off? Oh my god, we actually can take off. That's crazy. Yes. All right, that is enough lift to, to give this thing VTOL. Wow. I'm so impressed by that. <laughs> I'm also just developing these hatches here. So they cover the uh, props. But with a click of a button, they open up just like the concept vehicle. That is very nice for detail. Anybody else thinking that this is already super dope? Because I know I am. <laughs> all right, let's just give it another test with all that extra weight added. Okay, all right. Yes, we do have the lift. It is still tail heavy. Understandable. But that's enough to actually get me airborne. One thing I am worried about is the weight of the two jet engines and the wings and the rest of it. But so far, pretty cool. We are already in complexity town, so hopefully I have enough to finish this. But if not, worst case scenario, we just turn on the complexity mod. Okay, those wings don't look too bad. Let's get our large jet engines on. And now I need to make the tail. <laughs> All right, there we go. Tail, done. Um, we don't have any landing gear, but right now, pretty good. I'm, I'm actually so impressed with, uh, with this build already. All right, first things first, let's try the VTOL. Oh, hang on. We got different controls going on here. Let me, uh, change that really quick. All right, now we can try the VTOL. Oh, we're so tail heavy still. Okay. All right. This is fine. Let's just try basic flying. Okay. <laughs> this thing is so heavy. Unbelievably heavy. That's me turning on the VTOL just to keep the plane up. So that's already a big problem. Not enough lift. Or not enough propulsion even. But if I keep the VTOL on... We can kind of fly. Well, it obviously needs some major work. 662 complexity. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. 700 is not gonna cut it. We are going to turn on our complexity mod. Oh, right, here we go. Complexity mod. I think we should go for about 2,000 complexity. Yeah, there you go. That wouldn't hurt anybody, right? 2,000? <laughs> Hopefully my PC can handle it. Now it's all about making this actually fly and function. Okay, I have a little bit of a big brain moment right now. I'm actually going to use the props inside of the aircraft and tilt them so they can give me forward propulsion as well as when I'm in VTOL mode, they can face straight up and give me the VTOL flight. Big brain moves. 
All right, we have some more progress. So I've made the propellers do the twisty thing inside. So they twist around. There are a few little collisions happening, which is not ideal. But you know what? This is pretty close enough. So let's give it a test flight. Here we go. Oh my God, it is working. It is working. We're flying. And then I can just switch into VTOL mode. <laughs> Yo, guys. I am in the VTOL mode right now. We are so close to finishing this now. All right, I've made a few more adjustments. Now this thing should be ready. I'm not going to bother with landing gear on this because that's just too much work right now. I've already spent like two hours building this. But here we go. Now or never. VTOL mode. We're doing it. No way. <laughs> I'm actually VTOLing a passenger airliner right now. All right, let's get our jets on. Three, two, one, switch. And there you have it, guys. We are flying away in my passenger airliner. <laughs> wow, I'm so happy. This actually works. Took a while, but we got there in the end. I'm gonna give this thing like an amazing paint job. And yes, we should be fully finished. All right, she is painted. Here she is. I am so happy with the way this thing looks. Look at that. It looks so good. Wow. Okay, well, there's no better time to get this in the air than now. So let's get going. VTOL mode activate. <laughs> I can't believe how well that works on only 16, like, small props. I'm surprised how powerful props actually are. Right, here we go. We're switching out. And now we're a jet. <laughs> hey. Speechless. I am speechless on how well this actually works. I didn't think I'd be able to make this thing work so good on like how chunky it is, but it, it's good. It's amazing. So good, in fact, I think I can probably veto land this on the helipad. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Because I do. Before I go and land on the helipad, though, let's try and land on the snow island. Okay, here we go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that's a tree. Oh, no. No. Oh, I came in way too low there. This is okay, because with this innovative technology, I can just take off anywhere. There you go. Let's make our way over to the helipad. I think this is the ultimate test. Here we go. Now or never. We're nearly there. All right, let's gain a little bit more altitude. And switch out to VTOL mode. Open the hatches. Turn off the jets. And now it's all about leaning the plane in the direction I want to... Uh-oh. 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 This might be too high. Oh, no. I've... <laughs> When I cut off the helicopter engines, I just go in for a straight nosedive. All right, we're, we're gonna have to nail this. I really want to land on the helipad. Let's try and angle ourselves better. All right, we're coming in again. Swinging around. Let's not come in too high this time. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, uh, no, I've shot over way... Oh. Okay, it's good for taking off. It's quite difficult to land, actually. <laughs> All right, my VTOL approach here looks good. I'm nosing a bit because I'm half throttle on the prop. There you go, we've landed. And we're on fire, okay. <laughs> well guys, I enjoyed building this aircraft today. If you wanna see me build more aircrafts like this, definitely uh, leave your ideas down below on what I could build next. Building a VTOL passenger airliner, very unique, very fun to do actually. And I think if I was going to do something a little bit more grand scale that also has VTOL capabilities, I will build a heli carrier. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.